Hello YouTube! Today we have two boxes. They're mystery off eBay. This one was 76. This one 102. So we're gonna open them both in the video. If you like the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, I sell watches. Look at my eBay and Etsy, the link in the description. Let's start with this guy. I had to cut it a little bit because my name address was on it, sender's address. Not a huge deal. Let's open that up. Let's see what we got. Are these going to be in... Is that all? Okay, yeah, that's all. They just put it in a bag. Let's cut it open. Because I know I don't want it to be too loud for the video. Cut it open, there we go. Kind of a weird way to... Maybe this is a nice one? Oh, wow. Look at that. That's a Gruen Curvex. Wow, wow, wow. If you, let me get in if you guys can see that gold filled. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, so I can move the hands. Well, maybe not. There we go. Let's move the hands, push it. Yeah, it doesn't want to um, wind. Okay. It almost feels like it's not making a connection. Okay. Play around with that one later. Did try to cut this. That do the trick. There we go. Next up is a Solar Eaton's brand Canadian. You can see it's gold filled. You can see yeah, it's coming through. Yeah, this one's running like a hot dam. Good, good. That's what we like to see. Just need yeah, a little bit of a polish on the um, plastic. But other than that, it's good. Next watch we have is a Limit. Okay, let's see. Fully wound, okay. Next watch is a, oh, Bulova. It is a, it says Bulova quality. Let's pop the back quick. Is it gold? I'm going to say no, because the color looks a bit off. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. This is below quality. Then the movement is a 6 a.m. See, does this work? And yeah, there's no gold marking anywhere to be found. So I'm going to assume it's not. Just a serial number, okay. It's gonna be pretty old. Yep, works ticking away. That's good. That's gonna be with a little bit of money. I'll trace back the serial number to when it's made. Good score there. Next up, we have a Caravel by Bulova. P1, I think that's 1981. Is this a... 
Okay, maybe it works. We'll see. Next up, another Bulova. Good, good, ticking away. Usually when these work and tick away, that's a pretty good sign. Check it on the time grapher. Make sure everything works as it should. Lady Seiko. Ooh, fully wound. Yeah, that one doesn't want to run. Shame, that's a nice little watch. Benarus. Almost looks like those could be diamonds. Yeah, that's gold plated. Does it work? Yeah, it runs great. Tick, 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 tick. My experience when you turn these and they run like tick, 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 they're usually fine. Gold fell. That's a nice little watch. Like I said, ladies on Etsy, men's on eBay. Oh, that's cool. Give that a little straightening. Kind of like that. Does it? Oh, yeah, the mainspring shot. Yeah, you can hear it. Could just be the click spring. Because, yeah, it's building pressure, then it's releasing. There's a little spring in the click spring. I think that's probably gone. I've seen that issue before. If I have an extra one, it's an easy fix. Caravel. Beautiful watch. And I think it's an N9, so 1979. Well made. Good shape, too. Beautiful. This is a nice shape watch. This on Etsy will move pretty quick. I love these Caraval Boulevard ladies watches, mechanical. Let's see, this is a Monarch Swiss made. Never even seen this brand before. I feel like the mainspring shot. Because I'm just winding it and this feels like nothing's happening. Gotta open it. So let's open this up and just see. Let me grab the proper tool. Let's open this up quick and see what it looks like. Kind of curious. Monarch. Oh, they use their own movement. Kind of surprised by that. Let's put that to the side. Cardinal. These aren't super expensive. Kind of cool though, with like the Roman numerals. Yeah, runs great. Nice band. Two more. Halbro, 17 jewels. Missing the crown. I do have extra crowns. I might just throw one on, see if it works. It's a nice watch. Hopefully it works. I think it will. Last up. I can't even read that. Taylor special. So let's see if it works. It's ticking away, so it must, so, you know, at least run. Okay, so yeah, I think for $76, I'll sell some of those watches for over that. So that's definitely a good score. Next up, I did cut that off. Um, yeah, this was 102 Oh, there's two. Okay. 
Not a bad way to do it. So we have two bags. This is a sandwich bag, but still, I like to cut it, it's fun. So right off the bat, we have a Seiko 5 automatic. Even as a parts watch, I'll still probably sell it for a little bit of money. I do appreciate the seller trying to at least protect it a little bit. So let's see, Seiko 5. Yeah, it's the um quite scratched up, no band. Let's see, does it give it a nice little shake? Nothing. Okay. So it probably doesn't run, but still, that's worth a little bit of money just being a Seiko 5. Next up, a swatch. I like these. This is a 2004. It's quite unique. My experience is the more unique a swatch, the more it's worth. So when I buy swatches, I usually prefer the more crazy designs. Yeah, and that's everything looks in good shape. Just change a battery, be good to go. What is this? This is a, oh, by Bulova. Condition's a little bit rough, but that's kind of neat. Bellington? Okay. Kind of a neat vintage aluminum watch. Next up, we have a Grand Prix. Yeah, it's not a high value watch, unfortunately. QQ by Citizen. Is this going to be a quartz or mechanical? Mechanical, but it's fully wound. But still, as a project, somebody will probably like that. Another swatch. With swatches, I always look, is the strap in good shape? Is the battery cover broken? No. Everything's in good shape. This is a... 99. If the date it even works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, good. Leather strap. Nice size. Boulevard Marine Star. Um, these are worth a little bit of money. Yeah, the straps, I don't, yeah, straps not original. If it works, it's worth a little bit of money. I'll change the battery. I'll probably just sell it as is. Somebody else can either polish the glass, put a new glass in it. But that's quite a rare watch. Happy for that. Ooh, this feels good. What is this? Oh, Timex Expedition, and it works. You Oh, wow, it's quite clean. Just had some stuff on it. You guys know I'm a huge Timex fan. Does the Indiglo work? Let me see. Uh, it doesn't work. Could be low battery. But I even like the um, strap on it. Is that a titanium one? No. Definitely, definitely good find. I'll probably sell that within a week. This is one of those from McDonald's, the Japan 1998 Olympic watches. I've sold a couple of these. They're not huge, huge sellers, but this one's in good shape. Okay, vintage Casio. Which model is this? Got to be careful with this old plastic. 317MQ30W. Yeah, and I don't think that strap's original. It's too small. So I'll change the strap, but wow. Look at that, the original Metal Guard, great patina, 80s watch. I like that. That's going to be worth a little bit of money. 
Dolphins. Do we have any football fans here? Officially licensed, genuine leather. Okay. I'll put that on eBay. Hopefully we have some Dolphins fans. That'll move. Next up, Ingram. I've seen these before. Yes, this is a little bit cheaper one. Does it work? Okay, sounds like it works. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, another Timex. Automatic. It just has a couple scuffs, but I mean, it's plastic. It'll polish out. 1976. I mean, I kind of like this. Let's give it a little... Sh Actually, we can wind this by hand, too. Oh, yeah, look at that. Little wine and it just runs. That's beautiful. I'm a huge, huge Timex fan. And, yeah, that runs great. Timexes are some of the best value in the watch market, in my opinion. The seller put these in protective as well. Okay. Nice shape watch. I don't know if it's worth anything. Cardinal. Shockproof. It runs. Good, good. What's this? Mueller? Okay. Main Japan. Moon phase. I'll have to look it up. Might be worth a little bit of money. Okay, this is a Hovreda. Hovreda. Not going to be gold, but let's see, does it work? I mean, it works. Looks a little cloudy, but I'm sure it'll be good. Phaser. I have bad luck with these old quartz digital watches. Another Cardinal. I mean, it works. A little bit rough on the condition, needs a new strap, but you know, working's working. What's this? Oh, that's kind of cool. Armatron. You can see almost all the black paints off. I mean, I kind of like that. Kind of a cool vintage watch with the black. Somebody will really like that. Another Timex. Needs a polish. Straps had it. Does it work? Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe not. Wanted to run. Okay. You're going to continue to run? Okay. Hopefully it just continues to run. We have here a G-Shock. But, yeah, that's not right. And the weight, yeah, it's a fake G-Shock. You know, from here it looks good. But when, you know, once you go to the back, it should have the model number. It's very lightweight. G-Shocks are quite heavy. Unfortunately, um, fake G-Shocks are quite common. What do we have here? Seiko Automatic. Wow, that's clean. And look at that. Runs great. The crown might be almost a little bit bent. But that's an easy, easy fix. But look at that. Does the day date work, I wonder? It's the hands. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. 
Great little watch. That's going to do well on Etsy. Beautiful. Another Timex. Fully wound. Ladies mechanical. Solar. I do okay with pendants on um, Etsy. And it works. Anything mechanical, I always put up to my time grapher just to make sure, you know, it works within a reasonable time. This is a Dura time, Japan made. I don't think this is super rare. These, this one caught my eye. What, what is it? It is a... Oh, old Timex. 1972. 2357. Okay. Damn, but it's fully wound. Okay. Maybe take it apart, try to clean it. But damn, I like that with the black face. That's a nice watch. Hardly wiggle. Hong Kong. Ah, this is one of those designed to look like a Timex, but not be. It's just a regular quartz watch. Next up. This Russian. It says Rupal for jewel. Quite lightweight. I don't even know what it would be. Yeah, fully wound. Okay. Not too excited over that one. Another one of those Megatron digital watches. This one looks good. This is a genuine leather. Oh, Burks. Look at that. Runs great. Beautiful little ladies watch. That is a good, good find. Next up, what do we have here? I like how the seller did a very good job packaging it. Oh, an Elko. And it works, that's good. Good, good. Now let's move to the last bag. Okay, there's more bigger items in here. So I don't know what these are. Oh, wow. This is one of the Swatch volleyball watches. I've seen these before. Big watch, but I mean it works. I think you touch it here. You touch it there. I wonder if the screen works. These are from like 2010. The screens were never... Yeah, I don't know. I can't get it to work. Maybe here. Oh, there we go. Did I touch it here maybe? Don't know. Okay, we have a Casio World Time. Nice wash. Just needs a little bit of a cleaning, a little bit of a polish. Be good. Now, what the heck is this? Okay, Seth Thomas Alarm. Okay. I've seen these before. I wonder if this even works. Condition's a little bit rough. Let's see, that'd be the... This is how you wind it, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, there we go. It works. No, that's for the alarm, I believe. Okay. 
It works. Last item. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is heavy. I mean, Germany. Wow, they still have the protective. It's a Fisher alarm. They still have the plastic. Wow. Give it a little wind. Oh, the other way. That's. See, that's for the hands. Maybe that's to wind it. Okay, I hear it ticking. So that's kind of neat, the Fisher travel clock. So um, I think I did quite good here. Uh, quite a few of these watches are worth a fair bit of money. Can be hard on eBay, you just don't know sometimes. So um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.